everybody, it's me Ford O'Reilly here with you today. Today we are in Vintage Story, of course. I thought this would make me do something funny, but of course it just makes me eat it. That makes that makes complete sense. Um, today, oh, oh, that's so funny. I'm so close to my gate that I can open, open it with the glass in my hand. Um, anyways, we are back in Vintage Story. I just love these little animations that I can do while I sit here. Um, and we are going to be focusing on food today. We have, uh, our crops are replanted. We dug them all up last episode and we have some meat and we have some vegetables and we have all the things that we need to get started on making some proper food. So I'm not just eating um, cooked red meat all the time and a little bit of uh, fruit when I can find it. So that is the plan for today. Um, what are you doing? Getting an unlimited food source. Uh, that's interesting. Yeah, what are you going to make? Uh, stews and soups mostly. Maybe a bit of bread if we have time. Oh, like mushroom stew or beetroot soup or rabbit stew? Well, actually more like uh, meat stew and vegetable stew and soups. Um, there's so many combinations, seriously. There's so many different combinations you can make into soups and stews. It's quite amazing. Oh, wow, that sounds cool. But like just storable wheat bread though, hey? Well, actually we have uh, four different choices. You can have flax, rye, spelt, or rice. Oh, cool. Yeah. So you can like have a huge stock of various foods at your disposal, hey? Hope you have plenty of storage. Well, I don't want to make too much at once, actually. Well, why not? Then you don't ever have to worry about eating ever again. Because it will eventually spoil. Oh. Okay. So it's actually best to make just enough and not too much. Right. Well, that makes sense. All right, you guys, I think we're going to start by going and getting a bit more clay because we need some extra clay to make all of the equipment to uh, cook our meat. So it's OK. It's just after one. So that's plenty of time. I have a shovel. Let's head out. We're going to leave all that for there for now. We're just going to ignore that for now. We don't need it for this part of the episode. Uh, I feel like we want to just follow our path and we'll go towards spawn and grab some clay. because I'm pretty sure that's the closest spot where I have play in our world, at least uh, that I can remember. So we'll just head on over here. I still haven't finished this path. It's um, it's no different. You know what? While we're actually going to, we'll watch for berry bushes and try and collect some berries too so that we can put that in our soups and stews. So it's just right over here. That's, yeah, there's our clay source. So I am going to just dig a bunch of this up and I will just meet up with you guys after I'm finished here. Okay, so I got a good amount of clay. I think that'll do. I actually should probably not have worried about that clay because it's fire clay. We want to save it for glass making. But um, if I find any other clay, I will switch it up. But for now, this will be fine. And I see some berries here. So we're just going to grab this and store it and bring that with us. And then also I thought while we're heading back home, I wanted to quickly swing by... Oh, where was it? I think, was it this one? I think it's this lead one here because uh, it also has the peat moss right by it. And so we can um, maybe harvest some peat because I want to see if it will cook the glass and everything because it's kind of a cool, quick source of, um, of um, fuel. Fuel, there's the word. So I'm just, I'm looking for more clay while I'm at it too, just to see. Oh, and like ores and stuff, see what's around us because I really want to find a bit more um iron and whatever so i'm just looking as we go and it's right over here here's the peat moss and here's some more fruit so let's grab this uh, it's too bad it's not um stacking with the other it's not cranberries okay oh it is cranberries and the other one was uh red currant okay so anyways this is peat so we're gonna grab some of this and we can turn this into fuel which is really cool so i'm just gonna start collecting this and i will be right back Okay, so that's all the peat moss I'm going to grab. Actually, it only stacks up 32, so I have, like, uh, my, my inventory is already full. I should have really emptied it before I started this venture, but that's okay. Um, we're really close to home. So this is where I found the lead as well. We're going to, I have that marked on my map. We're going to hopefully get a chance to deal with that today. We'll see, though. We'll kind of play it by ear and see what our time's looking like. But let's just head on back to the house here quick. And we're going to empty our pockets because I should have done that uh, initially. And I didn't, so that's okay. I'm going to pop these fences into here. Uh, let's see. I feel like I can just put all of the... Yeah, the clay can go in here. So I have just over two stacks. So that's pretty good, hopefully. 
And uh, let's see what else can I get rid of for now. You know what? Let's keep the glass in here for now. We're not going to play with the glass probably today. I think I can put this saw away. Where's my good stuff? Okay, we'll put the hammer and the saw away in here. And I feel like, uh, yeah, that's all the charcoal I have. So the peat bricks, we're just going to take a quick look at this. Um, it makes the, you can turn it into, or is it already, I think you just cook it like that. But so I want to see if you do glass, if it can, what the temperature is for cooking up glass. Oh yeah, it's too high. It's 13. 1350, 1420, so you can't actually use peat to smelt the glass, but that's okay. Uh, you can probably use it to cook your soups and stews, though, I would imagine. I hope anyways, that would make sense. Oh, okay, so next we're going to make the containers, the crock pots. I don't think, actually, maybe I made some. Did I make crock pots already? I might have. Uh, my crucibles, anvil mold, forge. Oh no, I didn't. I just made bowls. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to make a crock pot for cooking your soups in. So we're going to grab our, did I already, oh, it's right there. We're going to grab this. We're going to put it on the floor and we're going to um, select crock pot. So I'm going to make the four because we might as well make a big batch of it. And it's just doing the clay. You know, you're going to uh, right click to place the clay and left click to remove the clay. And the, um, F, yeah, F key lets you do bigger grids if you need to. So we want to go into F. We're going to do that three by three and fill this in or, or remove this, I mean, not fill this in. And then we'll just grab a bit more. We'll do the two by two now. Nope, that's the wrong corner. Which corner? I never know which corner to, to do this in. And just quickly get these last little pieces. So let me do this kind of sped up and we'll make our crock pots together. all made so now we just have to fire them let's see let's pop I don't think they stack no I'll have to do one at a time and I don't want to use my charcoal we're gonna use just normal firewood for this so let me just pop that in there get this ready to go pop that in there and pick up the firewood let's see I don't know how much I'm gonna need in here probably because I have four of these to do so we'll just divide them here we'll do that and we'll put one on here and we'll see okay let's light this up and let this cook there we go in the meantime let's grab these out so that they can be put somewhere better let's maybe i'll just stack them that's kind of cool let's stack them here that looks neat and we'll put these away okay well i can't stack them a little bit of back and forth here quickly and then our axe head we might as well make it and have it ready. I'll just put it in the storage probably though. Whoops, not there. Um, I do want to make proper storage racks. That is on the to-do list, but uh, I think I'm going to have to, um, maybe next episode we'll get around to it. I don't know. It's it's like I have so many things on my to-do list for what I want to do in this uh, series, and it's just what do you do first kind of thing. Okay, so let's see. How's this going? Yeah, okay, at least it's cooking. This is going to work. Let's just add a bit more firewood to here. I'm going to have to make some more firewood. I've got lots of wood though, so that's fine. I'm gonna grab a bit more wood. Actually, I, I think I popped some in here accidentally, or there's one of these random, I put it in the wrong chest somewhere along the way. There it is. Just take that out and we'll use that one. Okay, two clay pots are done, so that's good. All right, all of our crock pots are made. Fantastic, and I popped the peat all here and some more firewood there. So I'm just kind of organizing. You guys can probably hear some monsters out there. Let's see, what time is it? Oh, it's just after eight, okay. Okay, so with our crock pots, we're just going to put them uh, away for a minute. So let's pop these in here. Uh, let's see, get all of these in here. And next, we're going to make our clay pot. So let's pop this down again. And we're going to select clay pot next. Raw cooking pot. So we're going to do four again because uh, we have four crock pots. So why not? So let's just pop all of this out.
Okay, so that's all made, and this time we're going to use peat moss to cook it because we want to save our wood for making more charcoal. So let's use the peat this time instead, and we'll get these cooking up. So let's just grab a little bit of this, uh, maybe eight. We'll try eight and see if that's enough. So let's come on over here, and this one here too. And let's put on a... Do I have space in my inventory? I'm so out of uh, inventory space here. Let's actually get rid of this so that we can... Oh, there's so many monsters out there. I can just hear them all. There's so many. Okay, let's pop the crock pots on... Or, I mean, the sorry, the bowls on there, and we'll get these cooking up. Uh, maybe I'll add... Oh, I can't. Um, and then we'll put that one on there. And to get this out of my hand, and we'll cook this up. Okay, you guys, I got the four pots cooked up, and now we can cook our food. So you guys, uh, let's quickly sleep off the night before we cook anything, because I need raw meat, and I'm not going to go out there and get it right now when those monsters are at large. So let's sleep, and then in the morning, we're going to collect some meat. Okay, let's go hunt some meat. I think I've got a ton of pigs in here somewhere and I think monsters, but we don't want monster meat. We want pig meat. So let's search our little enclosure here for some pigs. You know what? I, I found uh, last time I discovered that putting a piece of dirt um, to block the pigs from moving is very effective. And this guy is in here with the goats and that's whatever. It's just the way it has to be. Uh, so here are my piggies. So let's just kind of block them in. That guy is going to be my stew meat. <coughs> oh, it takes forever. To, I got to get better weapons. These take forever to get these guys. Oh, they can fit through. That's so funny. Uh, I guess I'll have to uh, do a better job next time. Okay, so let's see if this is going to be enough food for us. For now, we'll just do the one pig. I don't want to waste any meat. So let's come on back over to our house. Oh, you know what? I should open that up again. Let's open this up again. There we go. And come on back over and cook up some stew. Oops, that one, that one, thank you. Okay, so I've got the one, you know what, let's put two on the fire. So we're gonna pop that one on there as well and fill these up. So let's see, I feel like, can I do, uh, let's see if I can combine all sorts of things. Okay, there we go. So let's do the onion and carrot one for that one. And then for this one, let's do meat again. And maybe some fruit. Okay, just like that. And then can I add a fruit, a vegetable? I can add a vegetable, perfect. Let's do that. Uh, we'll put that there. Okay, so we'll do these two as this. It's just kind of random, I'm just, <laughs> random stuff. Uh, can I light that? Oh, I need, it would help for really if you had fuel on the fire. Oh, okay, so what temperature do I need to cook this at? Does it say? I think I can use the peat. Let's try the peat. Let's do that, and we'll put half in here, and we'll put half in here, and just see if that will, oops, okay, place it in for really and just see if that will cook for us. Oh, do you hear it boiling? That's so cool. Okay, let's give that a minute, and uh, let's get our crock pots out two of them out anyways. I'm just gonna pop them on the floor for now and we will store them properly in just a little bit but let's just do that for now. Oh this is so awesome. I'm super excited. And we'll do the other crock pots here. I'm gonna have to get the other clakes. We're gonna have to do a lot of different crock pots I think. That one there we go. How's this looking? Looks good. I think I can probably take the peat off. Oh I keep throwing it. Let's take the peat off and then we have our first meal you guys there we go let's take a look at us holding our first meal isn't this awesome we have our stew in hand okay and then this one should be done as well i need an empty hand though so let's grab that one out as well and we'll pop the next two on but i think uh for now let's just put this can i put that there yes i can and i'm gonna put this one right here for now and we'll get the next ones on fire pits here one in there and that one on there and i just need a bit more of the peat moss in each of them and we'll do this again so we'll do the meat and maybe an onion and can i do that in there too yes i can 
And then for this one, we will do meat and cranberry and a carrot. Let's do that. Fantastic. Okay. okay these are done now too. So our next um, task is to put them in a crock pot. So I'm pretty sure what you want to do is you want to put this on the ground and then put the crock pot. Uh, let's see. Cannot. Oh. Can I feel it? Let's see. There we go. Oh, there we go. Okay, so it's in the crock pot now. So that is, I guess so. And then I think you can seal it next. Oh, hold on. Let's get some fat. So you want to grab a bit of animal fat and you want to seal it. So let's see if this works. Yes, sealed. Perfect. And we'll do that with all of them so that they will last longer. So let me just grab all of them here and seal them. Okay, that's that, you guys. Let's go down the stairs now and make sure no monsters are down here. No, okay. And we're going to see how long they will sit on the shelf for. So this is going to be good for... It doesn't say, it just says perishable. I'm not seeing it saying how long. Well, let's see if it says anything different when we put it down. Mm. Oh, no, it just says perishable. Hmm. Curious. Well, we'll just put all of them down. Oh, there we go. Fresh for two and a half years. Oh, wow. Okay. I guess it just needs to cool a bit more before it'll tell you or something. That one just says, that one tells me how long. I wonder why the rest doesn't. Fired croc. Okay, so that one is showing me two of them are, I guess maybe just let them sit for a minute and we'll come back and check on them. But two and a half years, that's fantastic. Okay, we will come back to that because uh, I do want to end the episode with eating some of this. But for the time being, let's just clean this up a bit. Let me just empty my pockets here quickly. And I will probably make some more of this off camera. I just wanted to do a little bit with you guys, of course, first to uh, show how it's done. Okay, you guys, so actually now we want to eat some. So let's grab a bowl. I think, I think, let's see if this is how you do it. Let's find out together. Let's go on down and get ourselves a bowl of, let's see if any of these are different. That is 2.7, 2.6. Okay, so these ones are a little bit, let's do this one. And we will take a bowl of it and we're going to eat our food. Nice, me too. Wait, so this whole time your infinite food source was for beetroot soup? Oh, what? Oh, oh, you mean this? Oh, no, no, no. I just have a, I have to feed the cows a whole lot more before they'll give me any sort of food. So in the meantime, I thought I would join you with some soup. Oh, okay. That's really nice. Yeah, so what will your first real meal be? Oh, it's a red meat stew with boiled cranberries and carrot. Oh, that sounds interesting. Yeah. And it's super filling too. Yeah, uh, mine too. Hmm. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Vintage Story, where we got to make our first real meals together. I think in the next episode, we will maybe try a look at bread, but I just kind of felt like this was a lot of information for an episode on food. So maybe next time we will do the bread portion and I will have everything ready to go to start that next episode. Uh, in the meantime, I will see you guys later. Bye. Oh, hold on. Uh, let's see if I can dance with this. No, it's an eating. There we go. Bye. See you guys later.